changes their style and, and be not out there? What did you guys see and take advantage of it tonight? Yeah, they 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 have to switch up the style, but they're really good also playing this way. You know, five small guards and they can all run into the pick and roll, slip out, and all can shoot. So they're 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 a good team, uh, even without him. Uh, Chris. And, and uh, yeah, I think we made the right adjustments from the first game to this one, and yeah, came up with the result we wanted. They, they hit some, I think, uh, well, they hit a ton of threes, your team did. How did you guys win this game? I think we stayed po poised when uh, things weren't going our way because they did have those crazy runs again and that third quarter they scored, a, scored 39. And, and But we stayed calm and we stayed in the game and, and yeah, it was one of those you know, games that just things were going good for them offensively. But, but uh, when it really mattered that fourth quarter, we, we, we did what we were supposed to do and, and took care of business. Chris Stapps, uh, how, how, I don't want to say easier, but you know, without Joel down low, like Tyrus yeah. in his podium was talking about how they really couldn't do anything against you, just kind of turned around and just shot it. Yeah. Just how much easier is it when Joel's not down there? Yeah, of course. I have. I don't have to waste all that energy fighting a guy that's uh, 100 pounds heavier than me, you know. So it's, of course, better for me. Uh, but they, again, you know, I have to play against... Know, PJ Tucker or, or some guard that's quick, you know, so I have to, you know, spend that energy in a different way, you know, trying to keep up with those smaller guys. Um, and uh, and then, uh, you know, we always, me, me and Joel, I like playing against them, you know, because there's some advantages on, on his side, of course, and then there's some advantages on my side. That And so that, that matchup is always interesting, and, and I hope he, he, get back, he gets back uh, healthy soon. How did Denny play tonight, in your opinion? I loved it. I loved it. He was locked in. He, uh, he always plays hard, but he played extremely hard today. Went for blocks, steals, and was smarter, was not over eager, you know, except for maybe a couple of situations where he should have. But that comes with experience, you know, and, and he's going to gain that by, by being out there, being out there in important moments and important games. And, and yeah, he was, he was doing what he was, he was supposed to, making the right pass, making the right play. And, and he has to keep going like this, and, and I absolutely love what I see from him. Hey, KP, back-to-back uh, -back performance of 30 points. What's been working for you so well to start the season? Um, I think it's, yeah, I think, I think you know, I have to take advantage of a team like this. Every game is different. For example, Cleveland, they have the typical five on me. You know, that game, maybe I wasn't as ready because I had to shoot more in that game, you know. Brad draws so much attention. I have to pop, I have to be ready to shoot. This kind of game is more interior. You know, I have to be there, offensive rebounds, make them pay for the switches or, or, or just straight up post ups. So every game is an adjustment and, and we're looking and we're getting different looks from each team. Uh, but yeah, this one this one I think uh, just matchup wise, you know, without uh, Joel out there. It's it's you know, it's one of those games where I have to I have to try to do dominate those guys and, and make it hard on them. So um, yeah, we, we want to keep it going. I, 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 Kuz was excellent tonight. Brad was doing his thing, and, and things were just clicking. We stayed with it in tough moments, and, and, uh, and it, was, it was a fun game. That's exactly what I was going to mention. That fourth quarter, you, Kuz, Brad, were the kind of close things out. Is that how it's supposed to look? What do you think? <laughs> I think so. I think so. Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Uh, you know, we want to get the ball in Brad's hands, and then if they double, Brad's gonna make that quick pass, and then the next guy has to be ready to make the play, you know. And and, and but Brad's experienced, and he's excellent in those situations. And then we always come back to him anyway, you know. And he's 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 gonna create or his own shot or for somebody else. So um, and then Kuz, yeah, Kuz is a big body, always rebounding, hustling, playing hard, making plays for his teammates. So I think yeah, we just we want to keep going. We wanna you know we don't want to say that oh now it's clicking and everything is fine. There's gonna be ups and downs still, you know, but. But the more time we get together, the the better off we'll be, and the more more chemistry we'll have. KP, what was the difference in this game rebounding from those tough moments that you talked about compared to the three game losing skid? Uh, I don't know. Good question. I think just they were bouncing in my hands more. Maybe this game. I don't know. Uh, I think yeah, we're just all. Uh, the mindset was that you know we cannot leak out or we cannot already think about the next thing before we even get the ball. So everybody has to gang rebound, get the board, and especially when you're uh, in front, you know you, you you don't need to like oh no I'll make this quick play, slow down, five on five, see what they do defensively. 
And I think we play boys. We play like a team that 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 that, that already has some experience. And and, uh, and if we want to be a winning team, we have to we have to win. You know, if not both of these games, we should have won at least one, like we did tonight. How valuable was uh, the talk that Touch Gibson gave after last game? Yeah, sure, of course. Uh, that's your voice, like like his. Everybody respects him. You know, he. he his message was right. You know, you have to play for the next guy sitting next to you. Um, you know, and, and, and at the end, we have to have each other back. You know, we cannot be, cannot be focused too much on our own stuff. It's, it's got to be team effort, and, and and that's exactly what we did tonight. And I'm really happy with the result. A lot of honors in your career. What does it mean <laughs> to get a belt? <laughs> First praise, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, it means a lot. Speaks volumes. Um, you know, Denny, Denny, Denny nominated me defensive player of the game, and that's that, that's uh, it's remarkable. It means a lot. You know, we we try to pride ourselves on our defensive efforts on the nightly, and I know a lot of times it starts with me and my efforts and uh, consistency for 48 minutes. And uh, I was happy he found me fit to to be in tonight. But it could have been a lot of guys, man. It could have been Denny himself. He had a lot of. A lot of great plays, some strips, a lot of few, a lot of blocks. Same with KP, uh, you know. So it, this thing could have went to anybody. I'm just happy we got the win. Proud are you of, of Denny that he came through what probably was a difficult stretch for him, mm -hmm. moving out of the starting line. Uh, I mean, it's 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 a challenge. You know, it's kind of like a test in a way. Coach kind of tested him, you know, just to see if he would get a response out of him, a positive response. Uh, and he did. You know, Denny comes in the game with a lot more energy, a lot more focus, uh, ready to guard, and ready to make plays. You know, so it's, sometimes you have to do those things. <laughs> and as, a, as a coach, you know, you got to do something to light a fire in front of your team, light a fire in front of your players. And uh, at the end of the day, that's what's best for the team. You know, we, that's what coach decided to do. We all we live with it. Denny was okay with it. I'm sure, he probably felt the way initially, but you know, it's a team game at the end of the day. And he's very supportive of it. So. I'm happy of his growth for sure, and uh, he'll just continue to be better because we need him. When they run their small lineup out there with Pat Jarrell, how valuable does Porzingis become that you can take advantage of that uh, in the middle without need? Uh, that's huge, man. Uh, one, we know how valuable Joel is and how much of a difference maker and how the game probably would have been totally different and style of play wise, my if you to play. Uh, but, you know, we take advantage of that. You know, KP uses his length. I think that's that's what we love about his ability, his versatility. You know, especially with our two-man game and our duo. You know, you have to make a decision. I mean, he can literally just stand over you and shoot over you. And, mm -hmm. You know, that's that's a that's a beauty about his his versatility and uh, his his ability to space the floor, finish in the paint, his great touch. Um, I think he's an underrated defender too. So you know, he he has a nice game overall game. You know, and just, I'm happy that he's, he's putting it together. Brad, we got it. We're going to continue to feed him. Brad, on Philadelphia's side, just what has stood out to you about Tyrese Maxey's game? It's amazing how you know he's in year three now, uh, and he's he's confident. He's running his team. You know, he's he's playing like a an all star you know, right now. So you know, he's super talented, um, and the game is only going to continue to slow down more and more for him, which is even scary. You know, and he has a great guy, James. He's learning from. Uh, Doc, Sam, he has a good group of guys over there that he can really learn and really understand how to play his, his position the right way and how he can excel. Uh, and he's been doing it. He's been killing the league. So, um, you know, prayers for his health and just continue to do what he's been doing. But he's special. Fred, I'm sure the last game you were happy with yourself with some of the misses at the rim. I guess did that come into tonight? You were even more focused to... Not really. That game is over with. You make a miss shots in this league, you know, I haven't played a lot of games in my career. I don't know, damn if I'm going to up over uh, a game that was a few days ago. You know, so you make shots, you miss shots, layups, free throws, threes, whatever it is. You just got to move on and continue to attack. How valuable, uh, how valuable was it to have Taj uh, talk after the last game? Oh, uh, it was great. You know, uh, one, he's a vet, uh, OG in the locker room, and somebody who, when he speaks, we listen, you know, uh, what he said was, was a very much needed message. And I think we, we came out and responded the right way tonight. Obviously, we still got a lot of things we can do better at defensively, but our effort for 48 minutes was there, so that's all we can ask for.
Right, you had six and double figures. Uh, just look at some of the positives you know to start tonight's game. Uh, I'm just kind of picking back off what I just said, just the resiliency of just coming in tonight and just have a different focus and mentality. You know, we, we felt like we left that game go the other day uh, when they were in D.C. And we came out tonight a lot more attentive on defense. Uh, we still let Maxie kind of run wild a little bit, but uh, we were able to contain him, contain him uh, late in the fourth. And, uh, I think just our consistency for 48 minutes is what I was most impressed with. How's your ankle? Last question. Good. Mike was good. I just rolled it on. I don't know who it was. The defender I came down with the rebound, but it's good. You know, I'm an elastic man. <laughs>